ba da ba 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 More customs. Okay, okay. Two are not new. I showed them on YouTube short, but I'm going to review them anyways because I want to. And then there's these three from the Gumdrop Angel. So let's start off with Blackbird. This is my updated Blackbird, if you did not know already. First of all, he's angry, boy. He's he, he's pissed off from the last time he messed with Vanny. Ooh, ooh. Uh, you, if you move one arm, or, yeah, the other one moves. Cool. And he's actually got better legs. He's got indents, and he's got, like, yeah, he's more curvature. And then, then he got toes. He can fly. He's not like a penguin anymore. He's more like raven. Because he is like a raven. Like that. Next, we're going with a lucky boy. Even though he's supposed to be small AF, he is big AF. I'm a lucky boy. Ooh. He's kind of cracked open, you see, from his chin. His eyeball, he's going to cut off your face and make you look like a demon. He's got a balloon, red and yellow stripe. His legs are freaking beat off the crap out of. And he's just balloon boy, but he's freaking tall and creepy. That's actually how he is. He cuts your face off and makes good things happen, but then cuts your face off. He's going to cut balloon boy's face off. Next, we got the guard from, what was it, uh, Room for One More. Basically, what happens is someone gets, get, gets, um, gets many freaking marinas stuck in their body because someone decided that they were going to sleep on the job. And now there's one, two, three, four, four demons coming out of them. First, we got Mini Arena 1, which is cute. And then number 2, who's was just... Bah. And then number 3, he lost his head. Number 4 is here to watch you while, he, while you sleep. It's true. He watches you while you sleep out of your butt. Um, and then he's got black pants and then his nice blue kicks. He's got his blue shirt and his zipper. And he's got a circus baby symbol. If you really want me to, I'll make the freaking taxi. Tax cab driver freaking fox, fun time foxy. And whatever Balor was in that story. I know there was a Balor, but I don't remember. And then there's a circus baby symbol and blood coming out of his freaking face. <laughs> yeah. Okay, next we got the big boy. I was going to do something like this for, like, Into the Pit Spring Money, which I probably will sooner or later. Uh, basically, this is what I think what we found Springtrap would look like since it's in a different universe. Well, I think he would look more like Spring Bon, like SFM Spring Bonnie, with the legs, with it being brown instead of just a normal green. And then he would be more tattered and more corpse-like because it should be more realistic. And he has more blood. And then you can actually freaking see his corpse in there. So that's nice. And he can open his jaw like, hey there, buddy. Want to go on a date? You want me to want me to stalk you through the vent while you get bullied by your stepdaddy? Yeah, I read the book. Well, I didn't read the book. I watched Daco's summary of it. But it was good. It was good. Uh, yeah, so he's got more tat, um, tattered. His his stomach is just ripped open entirely. I'm just gonna say that his ear is just destroyed. His other ear is gone. There's only one piece of it left, and then his endoskeleton is exposed on this side. And then he's, I think his other arm was sewed back on. Yeah, I'm next. I'm probably gonna make the puppet. Uh, next, I'm probably gonna do fan game characters and maybe the characters from the puppet cover. And then I'll do a friendly face and then Prankster. And then whatever characters are in the Felix the Shark book. And then I'll do fan characters. And 
Yeah, because I feel like I should do fan characters that I've made up because those are cool. But we still got one more to show today. That's the, the Gumdrop Angel, the Lady of the Hour. She ate the she ate the gumdrop nose, which she was not supposed to. Now she is a gumdrop nose. First of all, she's a gumdrop. Well, well, she's basically just gooey candy. Look at that gooey hair. She's wearing light blue shorts or light blue pants, black shoes, a blue button-up shirt. Uh, her hands are gooey candy, and then her entire face and hair is covered with freaking gumdrops. And her freaking eyes are like, I want to die. <laughs> well, she will die. Guess what? By children that are hungry for, for freaking vengeance. Stupid boyfriend. He tricked her. <laughs> well, those are all my Fazbear Fright customs for now. This is only book eight, so there's only, there's still four more books I have to cover until I decide no more Fazbear Fright characters, until I decide to make characters like Opening Mouth Spring, Pit Trap, or like Taxi, Cab Driver, Fo Funtime Foxy, or that Ballora from that book, or frickin' Virtual Trap, or whatever, but I'm probably gonna stick to this for a while. And then make those characters during while I'm trying to finish up the original Fazbear Fright crew and fan game character show. I hope you like this shot of these characters because I worked really hard on these. It literally took me a week just to finish all of these even though it took me one day to finish these. One day to finish these. It took me a week to finally notice that I should do a video about it. So see you in the next Christmas video.